Here is grade seven, module four, lesson one. Our I can statement for today is I can identify integer addition problems. I feel confident that I can write and evaluate expressions to solve real world integer addition problems. All right, we're gonna dive into these steps here. This is the important box we have adding integers. So when you are adding integers with the same sign, add the absolute value of both numbers and use the sign of the add-ins. So this is just like we've been doing since the lower grades. Two plus two is still four. <laughs> and then use the sign of the add-ins. If you're adding two negative numbers, 2 plus 2 is 4, and then you're going to use the sign of the add-ins. So negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. When you are adding integers with different signs, subtract the absolute value of both numbers. So just look at the numbers, ignore the signs, and use the sign of the add-in with the greater absolute value, so the one farthest away from zero. So if we have negative six plus two, we're gonna, uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna add those, or subtract those. So six minus two is four. And then we're going to use the sign of the greater absolute value. So negative 6 is farther away from 0 than little old 2 here. So our answer is going to be negative 4. If we had negative 8 plus 4, okay, we're going to subtract 8 minus 4, ignore the negatives. Um, 8 minus 4 is 4, and then again, negative 8 is farther away from 0, so we're going to use our negative signs here. Let's do one more underneath that. If we had, let's do 10 plus negative 2, we would subtract, we would do 10 Minus 2 is 8, and then the number that is farthest away from 0, which has the greater absolute value, it's going to be our positive 10 here. If nothing's written, that means it's positive. So our answer would be positive 8. All right, and really have patience with yourself. These just take a lot of practice and a lot of going through example problems. Um, to really just get the hang of it. So let's do a couple practice problems here. We have a golfer that is six strokes under par in the first round. So he's at that negative six spot. In the second round, she shoots three strokes over par. Write an addition sentence to show this and find her total score. So under just means negative and then over is going to mean that it's positive. So if we have negative six plus a positive three, we're gonna first subtract them. We're first gonna subtract them. So six minus three is three. And then the absolute value of six is bigger. So we're gonna use um, our negative from our negative six there to make our sum. So the sum of this, um, of her score, is negative 3. All right, we have the greatest temperature ever recorded in the United States occurred at an elevation of 178 feet below sea level. So if we're thinking our number line, 178 feet below sea level is going to be below 0. We have zero, we'll just put negative 178 down here for right now. The greatest temperature ever recorded in Africa occurred at an elevation of a 545 feet greater than the United States. 
at what elevation in feet did the greatest temperature in Africa occur? So what we have here for 178 feet below sea level, that's our U.S. record. So every record in the United States occurred at an elevation of 178 feet below sea level. The greatest temperature ever recorded in Africa occurred at an elevation 545 feet greater than this. So greater means that we're going to have to add that. So we're at negative 178. What is 545 feet added to that? Pause your video and then play when you think you have an answer. Because this isn't saying 545 is the feet that it occurred. It's saying that it's 545 feet higher than what we saw in the United States. So we're going to need to subtract our um, 178 from 545. When we do that, you get 367 feet above sea level. And you know what? Looking at this, we could see that this number is going to be positive. This distance right here is 178. We needed to go 545 feet up. So our answer was going to be somewhere above sea level. So this is a reasonable answer. We also know that our answer is positive because uh, our greatest absolute value is our positive 545. Okay, our positive 545 means that our answer, the greatest temperature in Africa, occurred at a height of 367 feet above sea level. Now for our last ones here, we have negative 18 plus 12. So we can look and see, before we forget, what is our answer going to be? What sign? Is it going to be positive or negative? You know that 18 is farther away from zero, so our answer will be negative. And then what is 18 minus 12? It's going to be 6. And then we can't forget our negative, so our answer here is negative 6. Try these two on your own. Pause the video. Unpause it when you think you have the answer. For 3... Negative 64 is farther away from zero than little 37. And then if we subtract 37 from 64, we get negative 27. And then over here, they have the same sign. So if you're looking at a number line, so we have zero, negative 26 is hanging out over here. It's our starting spot. And then we're going to add more negatives to this. So we're going to keep going farther down our number line. So we're going to have the same sign, negatives plus more negatives, like a really big negative number. And here we have 26 plus our 19 will give us negative 